August the 16th, 2019 is a day that I'll never forget. I suffered a hemorrhagic stroke on stage, causing me to lose my whole left side, to lose my hand that I play guitar with, to lose my left leg and left foot, the one that I danced around on stage with. It is that that absolutely crushed me and completely turned my life upside down. And in that moment, I had a, I had a choice. I had a choice to, to climb in the hole and to go down this, this pit and feel sorry for myself. Or I had a choice to keep going, to keep moving forward, to put it on paper, to choose to be a voice for people that were struggling going through whatever they were going through, whether it be social or, or brain disorders or anything like that. It is that pain and that suffering that caused this muse, this relentless muse, this forever muse, that near-death experience that produced this sound. And it helped me heal. It was the audio. It was the, the actual push and pull of the making of this music that helped me heal and that helped me get back to the stage. That's what I hope this music does. That's what I hope this feeling does, is get to people and let them know that there is hope and there is faith and there is passion. If there's one glimmer of light in the darkness, then you need to keep going. You need to keep pushing. It's the people around me, it's my band, it's my wife, it's, it's my, the fans that helped me through all this. Days of encouragement and things helped me get from the hurt to the healing. There's no, there's no healing without hurt. You have to go through the pain. You have to go straight at the storm. And uh, I didn't want to do that. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I endured, I'm glad I kept going but I can't take all the credit for it. It was my wife setting bedside, helping me realize that the best days were ahead of me, helping me realize that I had a voice still. It didn't steal my cognitive ability. It didn't steal my voice. It stole my left leg and my left arm, but it didn't steal my tenacity and my drive to keep wanting to sing, to keep wanting to write. So I grabbed the pen and I wrote Hurts the Healing. And that, it was a spiritual thing that happened when I wrote Hurts the Healing because it wasn't hard to write. It, it flowed out on the page like a sunset, you know. And the co-writers, I remember kind of backing up and us almost being breathless when we got finished with it um, because we knew we had written something that, that may heal, that may help somebody heal. That's what Hurts the Healing is about. To go through from the hurt to the healing, the angel side of you is symbolic in the fact that the angel side is that prayer, is that spirituality, is my wife setting bedside, is my fans praying for me, is my mom crying at home that kept me going. And uh, that's where the angel side of you was born. So from the hurt, to the healing was possible because the angel side was there. It's like a, like a fog in the mountain in the morning. You know, when you wake up, you could, I could feel it. And I could feel that I still had a purpose. I put my boots back on, put my jeans on, and decided that this was gonna be a revival and not a comeback, that this music deserved to be heard, this music deserved to be made, and so I just set out and started making it, not knowing that the music was healing me the whole time. That's what you're listening to. That's what this new music is to me. And I can only hope, because there's so much hurt and there's so much pain out there, I can only hope that, that, people, that, that people are able to just get a little bit of peace from it. That people are able to maybe make the right decision that tomorrow is worth tackling. It's, it's worth getting up and, and approaching it. To smile, you know, 
to go out there and, and help help people get along to the next thing. That's what this music's done for me, and I hope it does the same for you.